hey my beautiful people you are welcome back to my youtube channel my name is yomi Adu, the ceo of aero travels and talks as you can see behind me this is the atlantic ocean and today i want to see what the fishermen are doing here you see we have to give it to them we eat fish every day one of the things i enjoy in this country is the seafood you know i enjoy fish i enjoy you know shrimps and these fishermen they are the ones bringing all these to us i thought of coming to be with them let me know in whatever way i can be of help you know to the fishermen so that is why i am at the beach today to see what they are doing so i want you to watch this episode of my video to the very end and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel i want to ask you to be part of this community this is a travel channel where i give information in whatsoever country i am so i give different different information so for the returning subscribers i want to say a big thank you again and again thank you because we are always doing this together thank you so much stay blessed okay this is the rolling of the boat into the ocean as we all know this is atlantic ocean so you can see all the fishermen this is how they usually roll it in you know they expect the wave to come so that it will be very easy for the boat to keep going so that is how they roll the boat into the ocean and by the time that is perfectly done the boat will get to the middle of the ocean and after that we are going to see what they will do next okay after like two and a half hours it is time for the fishermen to pull the net back to the seaside that is what they are doing so i've been waiting here since and uh, i want to see uh the outcome of this fishing yeah my brother how are you fine you are a fisherman yeah oh okay so what is your name my name is lasana your name is what? Lassana, Lassana. Lassana, okay, Lassana. That's it. Lassana. Okay, Lassana, you are a fisherman and uh, I learned you are the captain of this group. Yeah, you are their captain. Cat, yeah. Oh, that's very good. So I believe I am working with the right person now. Okay, my first question is How long have you been fishing? For how long have you been into this business? Are we, are we still 25 years? 25 years yeah wow that's that's so many years that's two decades and five years 25 years now i'm just trying to imagine something if i'm doing a business for 25 years that means i am a real professional in that business it means you know just imagine maybe a footballer let's say somebody has been playing football for 25 years yeah. that means the person is a real professional yeah okay good. now you are a real professional fisherman you must have had so many experiences. I, I will ask you some questions and I want us to be taking it one after the other. Number one, every day, how many times do you come to the river, to the ocean to fish? How many days? How many times do you come in? Yeah, so because sometimes we come, I will fish it three times to the Sometimes three you. times? Yes. Oh, okay. Come three times. Yeah. Okay. So, and do you come every day? Every day. Every day, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sometime Friday, you, Saturday. Sunday, only one day, Sunday. Sorry? Only one day, Sunday, I don't keep fishing one day, because Sunday. Okay. At the okay. service. Okay, okay. Now, let's take it small, small. All right. Now, when you fish, like, how how much do you make? 
because you come to the river to the ocean three times in a day like how much do you make every day so when they according to by the catch by what by the catch by, by, catch. by, by the catch by the quantity that you catch yes okay so sometime, like how much sometimes i can make 500 400 500 Million. So according to the catch plenty, I can make two million. Two million. One point five. Plenty, according to by the catch, I can catch very, it. That's very good. That's very good. That means it is a good business. Yes. That is, I want to ask you something. Now, normally, when you spread the net in, into the ocean, you know, you by the time you are bringing it out, you bring it. You will be bringing different, different kinds of fish out. You understand? Now, was there ever a time? That you brought out something you know from the river and it does not look like a fish at least in 25 years do you have that kind of experience yes hey would any fight have me okay sorry sir but i want to talk to that madam hey. sorry guys for that uh, slight interruption yeah the fisherman will continue after this uh, timeout. Thank you so Okay, uh, I was trying to ask before that woman interrupted us. If you, for 25 years, would you say you don't have catch fish? Anytime they would you say you catch something, we know. We no be fish at all. You know, say there is this thing where they call mami water. You know mami water? I know mami water. Okay, fine. Now, for 25 years, you don't catch mami water before? No, 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 no. Okay, no so everything where you don't, they catch na fish? Na fish. You know, you will catch anything where you no be, where you say you see no be fish? I will have a catch fish, tortoise. Tortoise? Yeah. Okay, that's what it is. Oh, inside water. Okay, inside that's water. Okay. Inside okay, water. Okay, so if you, if you catch them like that? I will leave it back. Catch oh. it, leave it back. You will throw them back inside yeah, the water. Yeah. Why? They know because, they of, ah, because of NGO property. And my rabbi like it. NGO, NGO. NGO. Yeah. NGO. NGO. So, okay, that's a non governmental organization. They say, make you know they catch them. Yeah. So, if you catch them, they say, make you they throw them back. Yeah. Oh, so, okay, that's fine. So, my brother, thank you very much. So, we'll go see you again. Okay, guys, uh, the fish are men are uh, here. So, we have the, uh, we have the tiny, tiny fish here now. This is the fish. So, okay, so this is, this is what, the, this is what they have right now. Okay, my brother, how are you? I'm fine. So, what's your name? I'm, I'm Joseph Abdul. Joseph Abdul. Oh, fine, fine. You are a fisherman too. Fisherman too, yeah. How many years have you been fishing? Um, nine years now. Nine six, years? Yes, since 2014. Wow. 14 years? Yes. Oh my goodness, 14 years. Yes. Uh, the other fisherman, 25, you, 14. Yes, yeah. You guys I'm a senior really... man, I'm a senior man, I'm a big one back. Yeah, senior man, decided to captain. Okay, yes, fine. Yes, you yes, guys yes, are yes. really, really doing well. Let me ask you some of the questions that I ask him to. Yeah. Um, with your years of experience, was there ever a time that you caught something that was not looking like fish? Well, um, no, no, no. We only have tortoises. Oh. Tortoises, okay. but it's a fish, but the government will not allow us to eat. To eat. So once you catch it, you catch it, you allow it to leave it to go. Okay, fine, fine. And uh, then another thing I want to ask is about the business of uh, this, uh, you know, fishing. Is it a good business? Is it profitable? Really, really. Profitable. It's a good business. Yes, yes. So it, it is very, very profitable. Profitable, really. Okay, and I know you are a married man, right? Yes, yes. Uh, I have so two children with my wife. Okay, one wife, two children. Two children. So yes. that means it is in this business that you got married and you are taking care of your family. Yes, yes, yes. So that is good. So that makes it to be a very profitable business. Yes. Okay. One more thing before we go. Yeah. What would you like the government to do for fishermen? By the way, is there an association of fishermen? Yeah, yeah, the fishing association. I was having the minister, minister of fisheries. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Minister. Very good, very good. So she's doing well, really. She's doing well. Beautiful. So what do you want the government to do for you? 
the, um, the only way that government need to support the fishermen to support the, support the fishermen boats. add more support for our government are, they are doing well with the boat net. to support the fishermen but so sometimes we have some people um sick cold malaria Oh, uh, the pains is not really easy, so but they are doing their best. Medication, drugs. Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, okay, yes, okay, yes. Okay, okay. And I believe the government of uh, Syria, Lord, they are hearing us, they are watching us. Yes. And uh, the minister for the fisheries, fishery, fishery, yes. yes, I believe she's also watching. You yes. see, this is uh, our young man here, he's a fisherman, and he has experience of 14 years. I want the government to come to the aid of the fishermen. They are doing a lot of things to alleviate their poverty, you know. So, and that is the way Africa can really, really grow. And the business is good. Uh, the other fishermen that I interviewed earlier on said they make over 500, 600, 700, sometimes they make 2 million per day because they come to the river, they come to the ocean three times every day and that makes it to be a lucrative uh, business. So in whatsoever regard or uh, in whatsoever way the government can be of assistance to these fishermen, thank God there is an association. I will so much appreciate it if the government can listen to our voice, to the voice of the fishermen. Hello guys. Honestly, I learned something here this afternoon. Two sets of uh, boats owned by fishermen, they went to, you know, to spread their nets. And upon coming back, honestly, I never knew this thing could happen. When they came back, the first batch of uh, fishermen, they came and they caught nothing. Honestly, I saw their boats, I saw I saw their nets. There was nothing inside it. But the other people, when they came, I saw what they caught. The same river, the same ocean, sorry. And I don't know. Does that does that minister to you? Does that say something about life? And this water is owned by God, the same person. God made all the things. Believe me sincerely, the first people, when they came, I couldn't show their nets. They, there was nothing inside it. But the other people, they had something to show for their efforts. If you have, if it ministers to you, I want you to say something in the comment section. Okay, so guys, uh, I have come to the end of another video of uh, mine for today. There's a very good friend beside me. His name is Morgan. He's a Sierra Leonean and he's doing well around here. So, till I come your way again, I remain ever sincerely yours. You're me. I do keep watching Aero Hub Travels and Tours. Before we go, Morgan, I just want you to say hi to people. Hello. Hello. Yeah, so, see you guys. Thank you so much.